right, we're checking out the only game where you have Pinocchio and Britney Spears boiling in a cauldron as you decide whether to throw them into heaven or hell. It's Judgment Day. <laughs> Judgment Day is a game where you're supposed to look at what people have done in their lives and send them correctly to heaven or hell. That's not going to happen. As you decide whether or not you're going to send people to places, their lives and what they've done change, and so we're going to make sure that everyone goes to the wrong place. Oh, game. You're gonna pay for making me God. Oh Jesus, I just realized our angel guy's on meth. Oh my god, is that Ron Jeremy? <laughs> if you don't know who that is, don't don't look it up. Just do yourself a favor. Do do you and your search history a favor. Oh, maybe it's not. Leader of the world's largest drug cartel. I mean, it doesn't say what the drug is. Could be penicillin. Sounds like he should go to heaven. Ordered the deaths of hundreds of people. Okay, this just got really bad really fast. Obviously, as you can see, you can choose how much a person should go to heaven or hell. Considering that going all the way results in stuff like this, hell yes! Burn two million dollars in cash to warm up his daughter. Oh, that's that's actually quite parentally nice of him. I love how the daughter is crying. She's like, Daddy, I wish you were rich again. This is this is one of those instances where I actually don't know what I should do. Um, there, I'll, I'll send you slightly to heaven. Okay, so now you have to make the decision. Does he burn? Or does he experience nonstop bliss? I think you know what the answer is. Yate! Caught many criminals. What are these, the little raccoon children? They look so sad. They're like, oh, we're orphans now, you bastard. Or maybe this parent was abusive. And this is exactly what he should have been doing. Oh my God. Gets information by torturing criminals. Is this like one of the little juvenile raccoons that he's ruining their lives after taking their parents away? Now it does say torture, but it kind of looks like this raccoon is crying with happiness. Honestly, I'm gonna give that a set. You know what, we're going all the way. Got fired from his job for being a torturer and formed a gang. Wait, did he form a gang of the, of the raccoon subordinates? I don't know, man. This this seems uh, this seems pretty legitimate over here. This seems legitimately heaven worthy because these raccoons eating out of dumpsters didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of motivation. They got tons of motivation now. How uh, well that? And I'm kind of wondering how this can literally get any worse. Got arrested and formed a gang in prison too. Is this raccoon using a sandwich as a blade? This raccoon has a fork and knife to shank people with. I love how all of the raccoons just have various food items. I think that's a donut. And this dude has two guns. Where did he get them from? And why does he never have his left pant leg? What is this game? Does this get any worse or uh, do, do you just, oh no, okay, so now you have to make the decision. Well, good sir, if there's one thing you learn today, it's that I'm a liar. <laughs> Where have we gone now? Mary's a rich old man for his money. I mean, the guy looks pretty happy and he was lonely before this. So sounds like, what the hell? She finds new lovers while married. Is this true? When I look at this scene, this isn't what I'm feeling. She actually looks very disappointed. Also, is this the Monopoly guy? I feel like there's an easy joke here about this guy's hat because I was wondering why it's so small. I feel like he'd be like, I got it for half off. Anyway, you know where this is going. Establishes a foundation for women subjected to with the inheritance of us we just we just skipped like 30 steps what happened to the guy can i do i have to put you in heaven or hell can i just bring you somewhere else what happens if i just drop you in the middle what if i barely put you in heaven damn it still counted who the hell is this it looks like a depressed waldo just like 20 years in the future and they changed his red shirt for a blue one although he has a bad voice he insists on doing karaoke at every party since i've been sending everyone to heaven now i'm curious where something like this gets you if you start sending a guy like that to hell after a shipwreck he survives by eating his friend holy jesus my god sending people to hell maybe even better than sending them to heaven saves five children by sacrificing himself in a hotel fire. Oh, he actually did something good. I mean, I got a question is like, what did his friend taste like? It didn't really go into that. Anyway, to hell with you. Yay. Oh, it's Johnny Depp. Pours milk on bowl before putting in cereal. You heathen. Respects all cultures. Now oh, this is getting, I don't know. Now things are getting a little, little tame here. We may have to start sending people back to heaven. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna do 180 on this one. Establishes a game company to make games that his child likes. All right, never mind. My initial instinct was correct. Going to hell. What the hell is this? My name is Jack Rain. 
I am a high school teacher. Lie detector. A lot. What does this even mean? We have a new ability now, I guess. It's, it's the ability to use the lie detector. What happens if I just say it's the truth? I experimented on volunteers. I've got to pick all the wrong answers. I need to know what's happening. I'm telling the truth. One of the volunteers committed suicide. I mean, I mean, the guy has two pens in his pocket. He has to be telling the truth. But that was not my mistake at all. I like how it's almost getting toward truth. This guy's like, this angel is so stupid. I don't even have to try anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with truth. His family was paid a large amount of compensation. Oh, this is actually true. They actually, they paid, they paid the guy off. No. Questioning failed. Yeah, no kidding. What is this, one of the James Bonds? Slanders a colleague to get promoted. This is a lot more than slander. This dude is literally dehydrating from the amount of tears. I mean, I gotta give the guy a golf clap for that. The coworker he slandered gets cancer out of sadness? Oh my God. I feel really bad. This guy's probably like, you couldn't send someone to hell just once, could you, Gray? I, I don't know how to fix this for you. Even if I go to hell, I'm not sure this can get any better. I mean, I can try. Donates half of his salary to cancer charity. Oh, there we go. It worked. There you go. I turned this man's life around. But I haven't barbecued anyone in a while. I'm not gonna lie, this lady doesn't really look like she- Holy sweet Jesus! Never returns the book she borrows. This picture came up and I assume this was a lot worse. She is salivating over this book. She has lost teeth over this book. And just like everyone else, she loses her left damn pant leg. Is it too difficult to draw the right pant leg missing? I don't know what to do here, but I want to see how bad it can get. So she's already pretty bad. Oh my God. I can only imagine the request to the artist when this game was being made. The, de the developer's like, hey, real quick, can you draw me the picture of a woman who is farting into the stratosphere? Sure. In Asian restaurants, she uses fork instead of chopsticks. This is not using a fork. This is committing murder on a roll of sushi. For that, you must burn. All right, sir, what did you do? You skinning teenagers, what the hell? Pisses in the pool. Was it his pool or a public pool? Sounds like heaven worthy to me. <laughs> Tries to enter the nudist camp with clothes on. I like how there's like a nudist CIA agent here. He's got the sunglasses and the earpiece in. Hold on, I'm, I may be able to get this guy to turn his life around. When he goes on vacation, he takes his flowers with him. That was not where I thought this was going to go. This is so wholesome, it brings a tear to my eye. It also means that the next person has to be all heaven. All right, you may go. Oh my God, it's Pinocchio. I remember you boiling. Back in the beginning of the game, always lies. Lying is fine. He torments the shark that swallowed his father. I mean, this actually feels kind of courageous, but bribes a fairy to make him a real human. I love how this fairy is here. She's like, oh my God, I can finally pay off my student debt. Oh, later he becomes a good hearted, benign child who takes care of his sick father. Sounds like you should burn. I mean, on the plus side, he's made of wood. So this would be over really fast. What the hell? Gus passes on birthdays of strangers and eats free cake. I think that's called theft. Although I feel like this person is shooting themselves in the foot because they can't really eat the cake with a mask on. Well, if their life is starting with theft, I need to know where it goes. Steals a towel from the hotel. It's like a whole rucksack full. I feel like we have a different definition of a towel. Sure. Writes mean words to her neighbor's dirty car. This isn't mean, it's the truth. Also, is that car looking at her askew? It's like the world's most angry Prius. Oh, whatever. Choose the most evil one. Holy Jesus, it's like the demonic version of Snow White. Puts hot iron shoes on her stepmother and kills her. I feel like we're mixing a lot of different fairy tales here. Freeze all the animals by killing the zoo staff. She is stepping on this man's dead body. On the plus side, I'm pretty sure that polar bear is smiling. I mean, someone was happy with this. This, I'm not really sure I would call this happiness. I think this is just her being a psycho. What, what does my choice actually get me? Oh no, okay, so it goes from here. Okay, so now it's her versus got soldiers and civilians captured, impaled and killed. It's all teddy bears just skewered on spikes. I'm still sending Snow White to hell because I think that's amazing. When he finds out that the pilot is a woman, 
he gets off the plane. This is somewhat annoying, but I don't know if I want to be more angry at this or more angry at the fact that he's carrying a briefcase that hasn't grown up yet. I'm serious. It looks like he, he he's abducted some briefcase child from its parents. I don't know where I want to go here. Part of me wants to see how much worse it could get, but part of me doesn't. Oh, let's do this. Maybe the briefcase will grow up into a satchel. Parks his car in the parking lot for disable. It makes me sad that this poor angry car has to be involved in everyone's crimes. Also, he didn't really turn more evil. He just kind of just turned more into an asshole. All right, let's see if you can finish up strong. Text his ex-girlfriend while drunk. At this point, you have failed to amuse me. You're going straight to hell. Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Oh my God. So this says pisses with the toilet seat down. However, due to various parts of nudity here, I can't show you the full image. It doesn't matter though, because the most disturbing part is the fact that his urine eventually has the consistency of maple syrup. My God. He steals toilet paper from his workplace. I like how the toilet paper here is like running after the rest of its body. It's following him the entire role. It's like you took my leg, you bastard! Right? Might have to start sending some people to hell. Because I feel like ruining lives with karaoke isn't as good as it should be. Choose the most evil one. Built a mafia empire. Forced people in exile to work in mines. This literally feels like half of my gaming career. Honestly, this does too. You know, I'm picking him just on the basis of his water balloon-like cat. Mafia versus Pinocchio. Pinocchio's already burning in hell. So we can... <laughs> Slept with two women to test his willpower. <laughs> to test his willpower. How? I almost want to pick him just because, not because it's more evil, but because it's hilarious. Congratulations. You're the winner. Enjoy a lifetime of suffering. All right, Cleopatra, start with the slaughter. Took 1,000 Roman refugees to Egypt, saving them from Roman persecution. Well, I said you'd be going to hell, so. Oh, never mind. Yep, things just turned 100% worse. But this doesn't mean that something horrible is happening. She may not be stepping on this man's head. She may be massaging his temples with her feet. So since things are getting real bad, we're gonna move over to heaven now. Got nail polish made from the refugee's slave's blood. Hold on. Hey Google, did Cleopatra use slave blood to make nail polish. Here are some results from a search. I don't know, I'm getting mixed information here. <laughs> I think I figured, oh my God. Before she died, she distributed all of her nail polish and makeup to the public. This means that someone may be wearing like their brother's blood. <laughs> this is simultaneously so thoughtful and so messed up. Just the type of person that belongs in heaven. Yay. Is this, is this Kim Jong-un? Change the names of people with the same name as him. Uh, oh, lifted a high heels ban on women. Hell is still imminent. Interested in rocket science. This is a bit more than interested in rocket science. First off, this is a nuclear rocket. Second off, he is caressing it gently with his cheek. Get up out of here. Sets up a robbery gang from crows. The last time someone used animals for crime, it turned out to be amazing. Serves expired cakes to his guests. This is like a 180. Also, why is this cake vomiting? It's not so much expired, it's oozing. It's cakely lifeblood. Deliberately steps into wet cement. You finished off weak. I mean, this guy's wearing plaid, so he must be okay. Throw cigarette butts out of his car window. That's not too bad. Ignores his crying children. I don't think the fact that his child is crying is so bad as the fact that his child has like jaundice. This kid's skin is purple. That's a problem. But I'm still sending you to heaven. Pretends to be a monkey when he's drunk. Honestly, I'm just more impressed that first off, the stool is sticking to his ass. He's on his back and he hasn't spilled his beer. Heaven worthy. Yes. What the hell am I looking at? Is that Vladimir Putin? Why isn't he wearing his shirt? Animal lover. I don't know what's more concerning here, like how stoic he is while he's riding this bear or that he still is missing a shirt. I sure. Mastered the martial arts. What the hell? Keeps the media under control as he sits upon his throne of TVs. Still shirtless. Still expressionless. Why? Do you feel lucky? Or do you feel like a trip to Florida? Yeet. Who the hell is this? It looks like one of my neighbors. Drives a car while drunk. This might actually be real. Is this game spying on me? I appreciate that this guy's tongue is hanging out of his mouth. He's just leaving his DNA everywhere. It's the angry car, dude. It's back. This poor car. It's like, great. Your ass is going to go to jail and I'm going to get towed. Let's go all the way. Falls in love with the navigation voice woman. <laughs> This, this is a deep, dark hole that we have gone down in games. To be fair, my wife and I have named our car 
Her name is Pamela. I, 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 I don't know. I'm really, can I just, can I just pick the middle? I have to pick something. I always go to the extreme, so let's, let's do like a, like a four. There. He is the one who starts the applausing in the theater. Now I see what randomness gets me. Normally, sir, I would let you burn. But considering you fell in love with the navigation voice lady, you get to go to heaven. <laughs> well, after playing this, I'm gonna go crush a bunch of Pringles and scrub my eyes with the crumbs. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Judgment Day. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>